What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music again. Thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this video because it's something that you guys have requested. So I'm listening to you and I'm gonna tell you now, in my opinion, the first five guitar effects pedals that I think you should get. Number one, an overdrive pedal. Overdrive's gonna give you a nice gritty rock sound for lead guitar or chunking some power chords. Uh, if you're on a budget, there's always the uh, classic Ibanez Tube Screamer. There's even cheaper pedals that you can find used, such as the Boss BD2. And if you wanna get super fancy, you can go with the King of Tone pedal. Effect number two, a wah pedal. Now, whether you're slash or playing funk guitar, a wah pedal is a staple in most guitar players' rig. Uh, there's so many to choose from, but you can't go wrong with the classic Dunlop Crybaby Wah Wah. Number three, a looper pedal. Now, looper pedals are a great practice tool, whether it's for your rhythm guitar, your timing, or your lead chops. Now, I use the Boss RC3. I know that the Ditto Looper is one that's recommended that's very affordable and easy to use. But anyway, a looper pedal is great because what's more fun than playing with yourself? Number four, a delay pedal, sometimes referred to as an echo pedal. I think of guys like The Edge who have built their whole sound around a delay pedal, or the intro to Welcome to the Jungle with Slash, or Pink Floyd solos, classic solos, they all have delay. And it's uh, a real secret weapon for lead guitar. Pick one out, go to town, melt some faces. Number five, a multi-effects unit. Now, once you've got your main pedal set up, having a multi-effects unit is a great, versatile way to get some more unusual sounds, whether it's a uh, tremolo sound or a chorus, flanger, things that you might not use as often or, or just fun ways to experiment. Uh, I really like the Line 6 M9 pedal, but Boss, Digitech, Zoom, all make great units, and they're really fun to mess around with. So, what are you waiting for? Go rip it up. So, these were just my own opinions on the pedals that I would suggest for you. If you disagree, or there's other pedals that you think are more important than the ones I mentioned, leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much. Also, thanks for supporting me right here at Marty Music. Can't wait to see you guys real soon. Have a good one.